by Saracens. It was their biggest ever derby defeat to Saris, who looked a million dollars, as we know. Without go forward, they can't get wet. Today should answer a lot of those questions. The sunshine there. Marcus Smith for Harlequins. Under the watchful eye of Anthony Woodthorpe, our referee. A first touch for Ollie Lawrence, who's been enjoying. Allen's leaping highest. Esther Hazen brought in Smith. Half a hole, it's all he needs. And up to the 22. Front football to work with here. Running that in to out, out to in line, as he just has. You're not going to stop him. Great start for Quinn's, exactly what they needed. Smith well behind the game line. Holds that ball back for Tyrone Green. And Oscar Beard is clearly finding a way through their heavy traffic. Smith drops it off. tried to milk that penalty, perhaps gifted another opportunity to award the penalty just after that. What comes next when he isn't around? As Bath try to build a bit of momentum here through their own South African cuts here. Terrific leg drive. Spencer down again into the outer reaches and Will Muir is there and Liner is clinging on and Smith is arriving. Picks up in the midfield, Duplessis uh, has it. Got Miles Reed with him, oh. and then uh, Marcus Smith looking oh, for the intercept. Just before that, we just need to look at that collision before because it looks like it comes into campaigns and they're quite close to the threshold. Smith, question of a forward pass, flat at best over the halfway. Care to the short side, and Smith changes the picture here. Little down forwards, no one in the backfield. Smith's onto it. Smith onto it and anchor him in the position, but they both compete for the same ball, end up knocking each other out of the way. The phase later, Marcus Smith. It was a surprise back then. It's no longer a surprise, but the, the vision is so strong, isn't it? He's always scanning Ben. For a player of his quality, he scored exactly the same try, I think, in his first season, didn't he? decision for him, no one in behind, I'm already moving, they're all stationary, I'll just hit it over the top. Bath did have an opportunity to stop this earlier though, when Danny Kerr... As tight as it's ever been, the bonus points are critical, those sorts of decisions are critical, the shot clock is critical. Marcus Smith, the calmest man on that angle again, but dealt with, two men on him, it's gone backwards, Smith has it, the turnover from Quinn's take their opportunities, the Abano pick and go on their own line, that last bit of play down the left-hand touchline from Muir, Quinns have been super that didn't go to hand, and Harlequins are lapping this up, Esther Hazen to Beard, to Green. Take him back in. Smith, hoisting, Murley charging through, Russell though in the backfield. They've had a little bit of luck. It's gone their way, but they've certainly taken it. Quick ball for Kerr, trying to stretch this Bath defence. Lovely ball there. Absolute perler for Liner. And he's got it away to Dombra, who will streak. This will take us to the half time break. Luke Pierce almost made Finn Smith kick one last night. Taking too long, but we watch this line again. Defensively, they're narrow anyway, Bath. And Ajomo goes and tries to solve it himself. Smith. Murley. Left that decision quite late. Liner bottles forwards. Discovery plus, right. Back to rugby matters now. And back to our commentary team now. Who, of course, Boston Healy. Been very much a focal point for their attacks. Flat ball. More finding but here he's dropped it. Back row needs to give them some go forward. But all the end of the season, big losses can be very damaging, or as Harlequins have found out, you can put them behind you very, very quickly. Smith with another half break. Says Kutsia has for the most part been a, a terrific carrier in this game today. Here, just not finding the purchase at the moment last week. They were dreadful. 
It's just about what happens in the game, those opportunities early on. We saw it last night, Northampton. Exactly the same. Opportunities early on. But Jomo moves on to the ball nicely. Russell running over. Gallagher within five meters. Safa Gallagher chips over Tyrone Green. Across comes Smith. And very swiftly on the hit this view. Smith having a word. thing as well. No, it's Stuke. Gets hold of Stuke's legs. This will give us a really good angle, actually, for all the kids at home. Don't die on the floor. Let's go to the ball. Grabs hold and gets some perches on Stuke. Liner. With any width at all. Smith to Esther Hazen again through that first time. Smith again. It's all the way beautifully. And then the break the shoulder. And watches the ball rumble out. Darby quick now. Besides, I don't want you playing a quick 50-22. No, the penalty now. Yeah. Lovely pick up from Smith. Soft hands for Don Brandt. And then the intercept from Lawrence. And breaks. A Jomo. Russell quins up really quick. Still playing it on and driving buff well back behind the gain line. Duplessis piling in as well. Smith. Riley it's on the board for me. A bit high from uh, sentence after a, a 37 point difference. Hat through. Smith after it. Back they go through. And after 80 thrilling minutes. Quinn's win. Just. Victory by 40 points to 36, and Bath take two losing bonus points. What a game. What a weekend we've had so far.